Clash of Clans has been out for over 11 years and has maintained an incredibly high player count, which is a massive achievement in itself and rare in the gaming industry, where most games seem to die out after a few years or maybe even months. But this also raises the question of just how much longer can they go on for? I mean, surely they can't just keep on adding new town halls forever. It's gotta end at some point right well today we're going to be going over this issue and all the different factors involved so let's get right into it the first factor we're going to be talking about is a whole issue with space on the game since it is pretty evident that the building area is filling up pretty quickly the first real indication of this problem was in December of 2015, which was actually the only time Supercell increased the size of the map. They changed it from 40 by 40 tiles to 44 by 44 tiles, which is a 21% increase and was a massive difference. And just for some context, this was also the Town Hall 11 update, and at the time, a max Town Hall 10 base actually took up almost the entire map. And if they hadn't increased the size of the map, then Town Hall 11 wouldn't have been able to comfortably fit in the map with the new things it brought into the game and instead everything would have been cramped and would have just been an eyesore. Which you can argue is kind of the case right now with some of the Town Hall 16 bases. Plus to accommodate for the increase in size, Supercell also made the attack time 30 seconds longer so it would be 3 minutes instead of 2.5 minutes. And so you could just argue that Supercell can increase the size of the map again and again almost infinitely as they add more and more things to the game and this will keep the game from ever ending, but that's not exactly the case. The current map we have is most likely going to be as big as it's gonna get since Supercell themselves has said that increasing the map size is a last resort idea. And the reason for this is actually because of two things. First of all, the current map size is about the max that can go for everything to still fit on your phone screen. And if they make it any bigger, then that means either zooming out the screen, which will make things just harder to see and will overall be more of a strain on your eyes, which will obviously make you not want to play the game as much. Or the other option will be that you just have to move around the screen a lot, which would just be very annoying and inconvenient as you wouldn't be able to keep an eye on all your troops during an attack. And the second reason is with the attack times, since increasing map size means it takes longer for troops to get around the base, which which means they would have to increase the time to attack to make sure people can still get 3 stars on a base in a timely manner. And this brings another problem since you can't really increase the time much before it becomes too long. All Supercell games are relatively fast paced with the action only lasting a few minutes at most. And you can see this in Boom Beach, Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, and some of the other games that aren't global yet. After a certain point, the tag time would be so long to the point of it just being boring. And obviously Supercell does not want that. And personally, I think that 3 or 3.5 three minutes is probably the sweet spot for attack times. So overall, the game is already at its end in terms of how big it will get for the home village. The builder base, however, is a bit unique as they split it into two bases, but there is still plenty of space there for new stuff, so I don't really think that is any sort of problem, especially considering most people just don't even bother playing the builder base anymore. And finally, there is the clan capital, which is unique since it is made up of a ton of different bases, and there is still clearly a ton of room to expand right now with different capitals, but eventually there will be the question of how many capitals they can actually add. But right now, it seems like they're less than halfway done with the clan capitals that are shown in the overall picture. So I definitely don't think there's a problem there and they can easily slowly expand that over the next 10 years. But going back to the home village, Supercell has done a lot of things trying to maximize the amount of space, with the biggest one being them taking the barracks and turning them into just one for elixir troops and one for dark elixir troops. And now they also added these defense merging which also helps save space and will be a good way for them to save space in the future. So overall, one massive aspect in determining how much longer the game can go on for is looking at just how much more it can actually expand, which so far seems to be a bit of a tricky situation and we'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. But as we have seen, Supercell have also added two whole new bases into the game, meaning that new bases are definitely a possibility for the future of the game. So far, only one of the new bases was really a success in my opinion. 
The clan capital is a very successful addition to the game that everybody loves, whereas the builder base was more or less a failure which people stopped playing after getting the 6th builder unlocked, since there really was no point in grinding it out anymore. And this kind of proves that players don't want to grind even more than they already have to for their home village. And this is why the clan capital was so successful. First of all, it was a combined effort with the rest of your clan, so it didn't feel like you were fully responsible for the progression. And second of all, it was designed more as an event, kind of like the clan games or clan war league. This came as a raid weekend, in which you will get 5-6 to six attacks to try and deal as much damage as possible to as many capros as possible, and you weren't losing any time or resources in training the troops, and it was essentially just you attacking for free, and at the end, getting raid medals which will give you a ton of benefits. So, is Supercell done with new bases, or will they add more? This is a really complicated question because adding more bases almost seems like a necessity for the game to progress further if they end up running out of space in the home village. But adding more bases could also make the game way too complex or just way too bloated in a way. It would be too much for the average player to handle and manage and I think it would just overall lead to a faster decline of the game. In my opinion, I think they should just get rid of the build base entirely and replace it with something else that still carries the same benefits, such as the gear ups and 6th builder. But one final thing to consider is actually the achievements in the game. I mean, if you complete the goblin map and earn every single achievement there is, technically you have completed the game and it is over without there really being any sort of goal to push towards other than maxing your base or trying to reach a certain trophy count. So does the game just always have an end that just keeps getting pushed further and further as new town halls come out? I mean, just how many more achievements in goblin maps can they actually add into the game? Well, if they keep on adding new town halls and defenses, then the answer is technically infinite since they can just add or destroy X amount of any defense achievement into the game and keep on creating new goblin maps with the new defenses. But Clash of Clans obviously can't just keep on having more and more town halls. I mean, there has to be a point where it is too much. And that kind of brings us to the question about whether or not Clash of Clans will ever end. I think everyone knows that eventually it will, but the question is when. Right now, the game is pretty healthy with the big and loyal player base, but it is no secret that the game has declined from where it was a few years ago. And I definitely think that the game has already peaked in terms of player count, but Supercell have also greatly expanded their Clash of Clans team in the past few months, which leads me to believe that they definitely have some big plans for the future. And that has kind of been shown already with things like the Halloween mashup Manus event that was very creative and very big success that brought many players back to the game, or even the early release of Tano 16, which could mean that Supercell are even trying to move faster with the game. And now we also have a new event with limited time troops and a bunch of other things in February, which is also cool. And through a bunch of other challenges and events in the last few months, the game has definitely felt more exciting and faster faster paced, but just how much longer can they keep on going for? I feel like the biggest factor in all of this is really with the town halls, since obviously that's like the main focus of the game. Surely they had to put a cap on the town halls, since I feel like even just after 20, it will be way too much. But if they do cap out the town halls, then what will they do? Will they just stop updating the game, or maybe just rely on special events or something? But that can only go on for so long before players just stop playing, since they aren't really able to progress. There isn't anything for them to look forward to. But with how big Clash of Clans is, it almost feels impossible to even think about the game being a Abandoned. But maybe that is what will happen so that Supercell can continue with newer games. I mean, that is about what happened with Heyday and Boom Beach. Both of them have slowed down to a crawl in terms of updates and new content, but those games also weren't nearly as successful as Clash of Clans was, so it is really hard to say for sure. But overall, I think the game still has at least 5 to 10 more years of it being strong and active before it may start going a bit more downhill and Supercell starts maybe the deciding to move on and focus on their newer games. But I doubt that the game will ever stop getting updates completely. Instead, it will be more like Heyday or Boom Beach and that the most loyal players will continue playing, but the majority of others would have moved on.